your boy going straight to hell. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Check out our brand new shirts. Make men. Men again just came out. Go on and get it. 20% discount. We'll talk about that later. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw pictures of this Nas X little dude, his video. Now, I don't listen to his music. I could have sworn maybe he the kid that made the little country song or something like that, which I knew they should have never accepted his music. But this little, I want to cuss, but I'm not going to cuss right now. This little person has consistently pushed the envelope of masculinity and trash rap music. It, it just, it just has happened. Now, I have never listened to probably a single full song of his, but I hear his stuff lingering around different places. I have not watched this video yet. However, I saw pictures, and people have been talking about this music video, so I'm going to do a review on it. You and I are going to see what's going on here. And a couple video little clips I've seen, this is demonic. So viewers' discretion is advised. Without me continuously running my mouth, I'm going to go through this video and we're going to review it together. Roll the film. In life, we hide the parts of ourselves we don't want the world to see. We lock them away. We tell them no. We banish them. But here, we don't. I already, before he say anything, I already, that the spirit of the SJW Antichrist is coming out. Every every ounce of his voice is promoting that. We don't hide. We hide. But here we could just be who we are. You, 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 here you can go to hell. But anyway, let me let me go ahead and uh, play this. Welcome to Montero. I caught it bad just today. You hit me with a call to your place. Ain't been out in a while anyway Was hoping I could catch you throwing smiles in my face Romantic talking, you don't even have to try You're cute enough to fuck with me tonight Looking at the table, all I see is reading white Baby, you living a life, but nigga, you ain't living right Cocaine and drinking with your friends You live in the dark, boy, I cannot pretend I'm not faced, only you to sin If you ain't in your garden, you know that you can Call me when you want, call me when you need I, I, I'm confused already. I don't understand what he's saying, and I don't understand what none of this has to do with what he's saying. The name is, I don't even know what the name of this song is. Montero, I don't even know what that means, so don't even, don't even ask me. This already looking looking weird. Let, let, me, let me finish, let me finish. Call me in the morning, I'll be on the way. Call me when you want now the dude making out with the devil and a snake. See this right here? This is exactly what the Bible was talking about. In the last days. I, I, we gonna get through this review, but my God, I'm so freaking sick of black folks eating this up. Now you, you live in America, you do whatever you want, but to, but to push this, this agenda, this ideology on the community is out of control to me. That's why this shirt, in my personal opinion, is it's funny that I had this shirt while I made this, this video. This is exactly the problem with men in America today. This is not okay. This ain't good. Let, let's keep watching. Call me when you need. Call me out by your name. I'll be on the way like you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah, God, no. Lord. See, man, this is this this is let me say this. And I know I, I, I sound like I'm just going crazy. This little dude had been pushing the envelope for a very long time. This is this is ladies and gentlemen, this is what they want for black men in America. This is what they want. And and I know that they push an agenda on everybody, but black men especially, they don't want real men anymore. They've already went from solid men like Martin Luther King and men who were uh, men of integrity. And then they went down to these gangster rappers who rapping about killing and stealing and thugging all day. And now they've transitioned, ladies and gentlemen. Now they've transitioned to these gay dudes. And, I, and like I say, I, I got to say this because people get in their feelings. It ain't, it ain't, I ain't really too focused on what you do in your bedroom. I don't care. 
But this is an agenda to turn your little boys into these little these these dudes like this. That's all messed up psychologically and sexually. All messed up. Anyway. Where his daddy? Where his daddy at? Where is his daddy? Nine, it was mine every week. What a time and incline. God was shining on me. Now I can't leave. And now I'm making that little Never want the niggas that's in my league. I want to fuck the ones I envy. I envy. He talking about screwing other men. I, I, I'm going to let him finish. Cocaine and check it with your friends. You live in the dark, boy. I cannot pretend. I'm not faced, only you to sin. If you live in your garden, you know that you can. Call me when you want, call me when you need, call me in the morning. Yeah, this is subliminal. I, I, I want people to know this. And I'm not trying to be hyper religious or nothing, but this is this is an example of what's gonna happen to you when you go down this path like these people are doing. This is what's going to happen to you. He, he is explaining what's going to happen to you. If you notice at the very beginning of the other thing, he playing with the devil. He then got infused with lust from the devil that has sexualized him. He's going and doing all this stuff. He get lifted up to the devil and in, 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 in the above. And now he's spiraling himself down to where, let's see where he go. Yeah, that's, yep. That that yeah he 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 had it he had it he had it by to the right place. Boy got his nails done. He already wanted y'all. All of y'all is trying to do be like him. This is where you going right here. Is where you. I don't know if it's gonna look like this, but. This stuff is uh, uh, congruent. I don't know if I could watch the rest of this. This is disgusting to me. This is this is disgusting to me, and and let me let me give you let me let me show you the most. I can't I can't watch no more of this. This dude is doing this. I can't I can't look at this no more. But this is what's even more disgusting. Let's let's go to this part. This is even more disgusting. These numbers. These numbers are are, are even more disgusting than anything else. Five hundred thousand people thought that this was a great video. Twenty thousand people said no way. 500,000 people thought that this was an adequate video. In less than 24 hours, it has 4.5 million views. Now, hey, if you if you don't believe in heaven and hell or none of that stuff, and you don't believe in the value of men and how the structure of this world works, then don't worry about what I'm saying. Believe what you want to believe. But if you have any concept of anything related to men in America – black culture and the push of this LGBTQ stuff, you better be paying attention to this stuff. You better be paying attention to this. This is not a video of a young man just, just making a music video because it's popular. This is a strategic message. I think all of these are messages. I don't care if it's a good video or not. It is a message. This is a message. These are young people who are playing with the devil. I, I I don't care what you say. This is religious. This is a religious um, exploitation. The acknowledgement of a heaven and hell is in this video. He sp rode his uh, uh, pole all the way down to hell. And he's giving the devil a lap dance. D this is strategic. These people, and, and I know people may want to say I'm a conspiracy theorist. These people... Are, are, are worshiping the devil right in front of your face because this is not some abstract uh, make-believe video. This is concepts taken from the Bible. 
outside of the Bible, there's no heaven and hell. There's no devils and there's no there's no underworld. There's no lake of fire. None of that stuff exists outside of the Bible. So this is a Bible reference. This is an exploitation and a worshiping, glorifying of the dark side. And, and people need to understand, especially Christian folk that are watching this. You can worship the devil who's the God of this world. Or you can worship God in heaven who is the creator of all things. Or you can worship the devil, who is the God of this world. World means these worldly things. There's a difference between worldly things and kingdom things. There's a difference between above and beneath. There's a difference between a dying world and a redeemed people. And these people are worshiping the devil of this world, which has given them a, a tremendous amount of success. And you can look at the Illuminati and all that other stuff. You could look at uh, Beyonce and all these other people, and you do your own research. But these people are attaching themselves and connecting themselves with the devil. And they're not only connecting themselves with the devil, the deviance of the devil, they are, they are celebrating it, and they're pushing it to you. Think about this. I didn't even listen to the video. I didn't listen to the lyrics. If you listen to the lyrics, the lyrics by and large, probably have nothing to do with this. Most music videos nowadays, if you pay attention, they have nothing to do with the video itself. It's a whole nother genre. If you listen to the music, you get a whole nother picture than what the music video is bestowing. If you listen to his music, this is what they're trying to push behind the scenes. I want, I want, I want people to understand this. This is, moving, this, is, this is why there's people in the conservative movement that are against the LGBTQ stuff. Because it don't, it don't, it's not, I want my rights. It's that I want to exploit deviancy. I, I want to push deviancy. I want to push sexual, sexual exploitation. This stuff is leading down a, a matriculating path. I'm going to add this. A lot of people may, may criticize and say, oh, Brandon, you're homophobic. First of all, there's no, there's no such thing as homophobia. You can disagree with homosexuality. They don't mean you, there's some phobia, like you're afraid of it. I think that this is deviant. And, and I think that it's, it's, it's matriculating down in the culture, causing other people to be deviant. I'm going to say this because people won't say it. On B. Tate, I'm going to say it today. This is this spirit that's behind homosexuality is, is deeper than people understand. Homosexual men like this, they try to manipulate straight men. They do. And in some cases, they achieve it. They try to manipulate straight men. They push up on straight men. They, I, I, I've had dudes try to message me. And I, I never forget, I never forget to do, I went to school with this dude. He messaged me and was trying to hit on me. And I say, bro, we can be cool, bro, but just know I, 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 don't, I ain't cool with that. I, I, don't, I, don't roll, I don't roll that way. Then he got in his feelings and, got, and, and he kept doing it. Kept doing it, kept doing it, to the point I had to block him and be crazy with him. This is not just people living their life just to live their life. When you go to college, the young women that play basketball, it's, everybody know I'm telling the truth if you, if you are reasonable at any point. They turn them girls out in basketball. They have this, this sexual perversion, and they get these young women in that basketball locker room, and they turn them out. It's called being turned out. They get these straight women in the basketball locker room. They manipulate them over time. They work them over time. They get them drunk at parties. They hug on them. They let them cry about their boyfriends, and then they trick them. And then they start manipulating them and sexualizing them. And then, they, and then before you know it, they turn gay now. They were straight. And then they get to college, and they're gay because they got turned out. These dudes doing the same thing. These little Nas X dudes. And little dudes that be manipulating like this, and I'm not saying this every year, all of them, but I'm saying this is the underbelly of this LGBTQ stuff that people don't want to talk about. They manipulate people, and they and they get people to, to, to get in this trickery and this satanic stuff, and they turn these dudes out. Dudes that were never gay end up being gay and being like Nas X. And where does this stem from, Mr. Tatum? It stems from sexual abuse that a lot of these young men have experienced. They get sexually abused by uncles and these other devils that are that are in their lives, and then they then express that on other people. We gotta really 
The bottom line is this. We have to pray for these young people. Even these older people, you got to pray for these people. And like I said, we live in America. America is free to do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. I don't, I, I, don't watch my videos if this is offending you. You don't have to watch my videos. I don't hate anybody, but I see a problem here. I see a deviancy here. And I see this, this, this matriculating into culture and, and, and killing our young people. Because instead of in America, instead of them getting you help and trying to, and trying to help you through a, a, a sexual manipulation in your mind, they, they tell you to go forward and conquer and do whatever you want. And these young men are lost and sexualized. That's why a, a gay man can't just make a regular video like anybody else. He got to be sexualized. This is, you, you, you can be gay and make a video. Why you got to do all this? This is, this is the same deviancy that you see with Cardi B and all these other people. Sexual deviancy. He's gay and he's doing it. She's straight and she's doing it. And she's kissing girls. I mean, she's doing all kind of stuff. Deviancy. And they pushing it on your kids. And you letting your kids listen to these people thinking that they hip and that they got the cool music and they're brainwashing your children. This is psychological warfare. They play these images. Your kids view these images. The song and these images become one in your subconscious. And the more you do it, the more a young man has been manipulated by his older cousin or something, the more they come out and they be like this because they're celebrating it. They're pushing these young men into this. They're making it cool now. 10, 15 years ago, you ain't never have a rapper that was gay. You'll never have a gay rapper. You, you, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be so. Or at least the dude wouldn't be coming out saying he's gay. Now, you got men, you got women kissing women on TV on, at, the, at the Emmy, the Grammys, whatever. You got dudes lap dancing the devil. Y'all got to understand, this is progressively getting worse. And we got to pray for these young people because they getting deceived. And, 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 and we got to really watch how far we go with this LGBTQ stuff. Because I accept people the way they want to be. That's fine. I don't have to agree with you, but I love you. And I'm not saying I don't like Nas X. I, I love him. I love him as a person. His behaviors are the problem. And I love everybody. But you got to watch your behaviors. You can't, just let, you can't just let people go off the deep end and say, oh, it's your life. Live however you want. You don't have to agree with it. Then you don't have to go and stop them and grab them and choke them and be crazy with them. But you have to stand up against these people and say, look, young man, that's wrong. Tell your children, this is wrong. No, you're a boy. You don't need to be going out doing all that stuff. You are a boy. Teach it. Raise them like to be a man. And when he's 18 years old and he's a grown-up, he can go out and do whatever he want to do. But while he's in your house, you have a responsibility to raise your young boys to be men. Don't be letting them say they feel like a girl. It's okay. It's Like my son came to me and said, Daddy, I feel like a girl. That's fine. You a boy, though. So what do I have to do to get my son to realize he's a boy? Put you in some sports? Do I need to? Do we need to go to MMA uh, fighting class? Do I need to put you in karate? Maybe, maybe somehow you didn't got soft. Let me, let me toughen you, toughen you up a little bit. When you 18 and you want to live your life, I, 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 you're grown. Don't come to my house. You ain't got to do that in my house. You go stay and go in college and be gay and do whatever you want to do. When you in my house, you're gonna be straight. When you in my house, you're gonna live by, you're gonna live by what I say. I'm a dictator. The Bible says that God is the head of Christ, Christ is the head of, of the church, and the man is the head of the house. What I say go. You want to be trans? You ain't trans until you're 18. You can go and pay for all that stuff yourself. Don't bring it to my house. I love you, but you, you, ain't, you ain't bringing it to my house. Not one of my sons better grow up and say, oh, daddy, I'm, I want to be with a man. That's fine. I, I, I'm not, I, I not going to accept that, but you can do whatever you want to do. You're still my son. You still have my name. I love you. But don't, I, I don't want you to bring your boyfriend to my house. I don't, want, I don't want that in my house. You can bring it. You can have it at your house. You can go out and marry whoever you want. I don't want to be a part of that. I love you. We can have conversations about football. We can do everything else. All of that you're doing right there, I don't agree with that. Don't bring that into my house. You want to be a girl today? You want to change your gender? That's fine. Do what you want to do. Don't come, don't come to my house thinking I'm going to call my boy and my daughter. You are my son. 
from the from you from when you were born. You are my son. You ain't my daughter. So if you want if you want me to call you my daughter now, I, I'm not gonna do it. Go live your life. You grown now. You don't need your daddy. Cause I'm not finna kiss your. That's the problem. Let me. I'm, I'm on a rant. Make sure my baby. All right, I got the monitor over here. That's the problem with you parents today. That's why this stuff is running rampant. Because you should be standing up to this stuff and quit acting like you're your kid's friend and that you got to kiss their rear end. You tell your child what's going on. And if they don't like it when they're 18, they can go on and move away. You don't, you, y'all need to stop letting your kids run your life. You, you're afraid of losing your kids like, they, they, like they're your God. Your children, you, you run your children. Your children don't run you. You raise them up to be good men. You raise them up to be quality women. And when they get to that threshold age of an adult, they can go out and do whatever they want to do. And you have to let them go. You can't tell them what to do when they're 18 unless they're living at your house. You can't tell them what to do. Let them go. Quit being an enabler. But I feel like this is manipulation. This boy needs Jesus. And if he had Jesus and a good daddy in his life, he wouldn't be doing this stuff. And if you ever notice, the LGBTQ, what are they doing at these rallies? What are they doing at the LGBTQ march? All sexual deviancy. Thongs, twerking, got little kids twerking, little kids walking around with dudes in thongs. It's all sexual perversion. And the people that are not sexually perverse, they don't, they don't put their business out there. I would not know half of these people were gay if, if they didn't say nothing. How would I know you gay? Is there gay on your forehead? No, it's not. What, what, you, yo, the only thing that make you gay is whatever sex you having, which has nothing to do with me. That's the problem today that I see. And I'm done with this. That's the problem today that I see is that people who are living this deviant lifestyle openly, they, they, ha- they make it their God. They make it their identity. I, I I don't I don't say I don't I don't lead a conversation saying I'm a straight man. I, I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, you know if I was if before I got saved and I was in college and I would smash anybody, I, I wasn't saying I'm a promiscuous man. I wouldn't say that. Nobody leads with that. What you do in your bedroom is what you do in your bedroom. You are a man. You are a woman. You are a Preacher, you are a whatever the case may be. Well, I don't think you're a preacher if you live in a homosexual lifestyle. You ain't no, you ain't no Christian preacher. You could be a preacher of what this stuff. But anyway, you are a football player. You are a veteran. You are a police officer. Whatever. You being gay ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't, I don't care what you do. Are you, are you doing your job? I don't care who you. Are, are you a good person? Are you kind to others? Who you sleep with at night ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that just is what it is. But then people want to get married and do all that stuff, which I disagree with. I disagree with gay marriage. I disagree with it. That don't mean I hate anybody, but I disagree with it. I, I don't, that's not marriage. I don't know what you call that, a civil union or something? That's not marriage. Marriage is between a man and a woman. That's marriage. Two men getting married is not, it, that's not marriage to me. And, 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 and you know what? There's going to be some backlash on this video. People are going to say, Brie Taylor homophobic. Just shut up. Y'all too afraid to stand up for something. If you are a Christian and, you, and you're afraid to say what I'm saying right now, then you need to go read your Bible. You need to go look because you're going to have to look the Lord in his face and, and say, what are you standing for? What are you standing against? And that don't mean you got to be mean to people. That don't mean you got to treat anybody anyway. I got people that are gay that I talk to all the time. I don't treat them anyway. I see them. I shake their hand. I give them a hug. I treat I treat them with respect, but I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. Just like I don't agree with a man cheating on his wife. You ain't got to be gay. You cheating on your wife, dude. I don't respect you. I don't respect what you're doing. I don't agree. It's wrong. It's wrong. You're cheating on your wife. I don't agree with you. Now, if I see you in public or whatever, I might say, what's up to you? But, bro, I don't agree with what you're doing. Why? Because it's wrong. And if I did it, if I did it, you shouldn't agree with me. Just because you want to make me feel better? I'd rather you tell me the doggone truth. If I'm doing something wrong, I expect the bro- my brother or sister to come to me and say, B, you messing up. According to the Bible, you should be. this is what you should be doing. I didn't write the Bible. I'm just telling you this is what you should be doing. So let's pray together, brother. 
Let's try to get let's try to get this worked out. That's how that's how you should that's how we should be doing. We shouldn't be trying to change these words and try to not look at that scripture because our friends are gay or our friends are cheat on their wives or our friends are promiscuous. I got friends that I know, you know, doing stuff they ain't supposed to be doing. They ain't married and they sleeping around. Do I hate them? No, I don't hate them, but I don't agree with what they're doing. I don't think I think that's destructive to their lives. It's destructive. Anyway, I, I can go on forever about this. This stuff is foolery, man. It's foolery. And for all these people up here liking this stuff, I hope none of these are Christians. If one Christian liked this and it wasn't on accident, I, I, I let me say this. I'm on a rant. I guarantee you 20% of these are, say they're Christians. At least 20% of these likes. Man, 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 I'll say 50% say they're Christians. But they listen to, it's just a music video. Yeah, uh-huh. It's just a music video. Why, why couldn't this be wholesome? Why did he got to be all perverse and, and all that stuff? That's why. Anyway, let me get out of here. Go get the shirt on the Oso Tatum store. Discount code 20% off. Um, discount code is going to be uh, men. Men. Just put men in there. Discount code 20% off. I love you guys. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.